The battle for Fallujah heats up. Iraqi forces now surround the city as they try to push ISIS out. Civilians find themselves trapped in the middle. Also ahead... Don't come here expecting that everything will be, you know, perfect. Crisis in Brazil ahead of the Olympics. Political turmoil, crime and a threat to public health. Many wonder, are the Rio games cursed? Plus... Or how many were they? It is a question it will live in our, in our mind forever. Exclusive reporting on a deadly attack by Al-Shabaab on the Kenyan military. Families of fallen soldiers search for answers. I'm Linda Kincaid and welcome to Connect the World. Well, show me the money. After months of being pressed to give details about a highly publicized fundraiser for veterans, Donald Trump is finally ready to talk specifics. The presumptive U.S. Republican presidential nominee is expected to speak to reporters any minute now at Trump Tower in New York. You are looking at live pictures there. We will bring that to you live as soon as it gets underway. Trump says he will reveal a full list of groups receiving donations from that January event. Now, Trump made headlines when he hosted that fundraiser instead of attending a Republican debate. And since then, his campaign has given differing accounts of how much money was raised. And there are questions about where exactly that money was going. Here's what Trump said on the night of that fundraiser back in January. We just cracked six million dollars, right? Six million. And we have outside a list of the organizations and folks that are going to be getting this money. We were very careful in selecting because we want to make sure that the costs are down, that the people are really doing it with the heart. The heart is so important. And we have picked out some really amazing, amazing veterans organizations. Trump in the last week has conceded he raised less than $6 million, but more than $5 million for veterans' charities. Let's go now live to New York for more. We're joined by CNN's politics reporter MJ Lee, as well as CNN political commentator Peter Berner. Uh, MJ, firstly to you. So as we just heard, on the night of that fundraiser back in January, Trump claimed $6 million was raised. Within a week or two, his campaign manager said it was closer to $4.5 million. And more recently, a $5.5 million figure has been told around. These are huge discrepancies. Yeah, that's right. And this has been a, a very messy situation for the Trump campaign. And with the press conference in New York today, I think he is trying to do a little bit of damage control. Uh, we'll see exactly what he says at this press conference at Trump Tower. Uh, that will begin in a few minutes. Uh, but I think the questions that we're looking for answers to are how much money, how much money uh, rather, was actually raised uh, that day? Uh, as you pointed out, he initially said that $6 million was raised. Uh, it seems that that money, or at least that amount, has not been dispersed to to veterans groups so far uh, and why has it taken this much time uh, for that dollar figure to actually get to these veterans organizations uh, and I think politically speaking uh, because this has been a big distraction uh, this whole episode has sort of raised uh, questions about Donald Trump and his uh, you know style of campaigning and also just the level of organization uh, at his campaign uh, if it appears that uh, Trump was too eager to actually go with the six million dollar figure when when in fact uh, that amount was not raised, uh, then it seems like the campaign would have some work to do and explaining to do on why he actually said that in the first place. Yeah, indeed, a lot of explaining to do. Uh, just let's bring in Peter. As MJ pointed out, he promised to give all that money to veterans, but we've seen months of delays and stonewalling. Right. Look, the, the larger context here is that Donald Trump has made so many factual misstatements since he became a candidate. You know, there's the website called PolitiFact, which which ra kind of rates the statements by candidates. And Donald Trump is far, far beyond any other presidential candidate who's run this cycle, Democratic or Republican, in terms of how many, the percentage of his statements that simply turn out to be not true. Um, he's got a very, very, very uh, tenuous relationship. So none of this, I think, should be particularly surprising. And just back to, to MJ, some of these charities um, say they are only just receiving money now. Some received money back in January. Some have since received more checks. What is Trump's campaign saying about why it took four months to distribute these funds? 
Well, the Trump campaign actually has not had uh, actually a good answer and a good explanation for uh, why it seems like there have been some missteps in the way that they've handled this, uh, you know, as, when it comes to the amount of money that Trump first claimed that he had raised, uh, when it comes to the time that it appears to have taken uh, for this money to reach certain groups. Uh, I think the reason that this has become uh, such a big issue is because when you listen to Donald Trump uh, talk on the campaign trail, this is an issue that he brings up almost at every uh, campaign rally. A big part of his campaign platform is to say uh, he wants to make sure that the veterans in this country are treated better. Uh, he wants to make sure that the VA is really reformed. Uh, and I think when he goes out and makes a big uh, to-do about holding this uh, fundraiser, even skipping the Republican debate, as you mentioned back in January, to do this uh, and says that he has raised $6 million, I think a lot of, uh, frankly, veterans groups are wondering, well, why did he do this? Uh, was it really just for political expediency or was he really interested uh, in doing this uh, purely for the reason of, uh, of helping veterans and veterans groups? Right and just to Peter I mean there were some excuses used about the fact that these charities had to be vetted and that's why it has taken so long but some of these charities have been receiving funds from Trump and the Trump Foundation for many years. Right I mean again as is, is typical with Trump and the Trump campaign it's hard to get a straight answer, and the answers change uh, very quickly without without any sense of kind of guilt or shame about the fact that that what what the campaign said one day turns out to be true the other day uh, turns out not to be true the other day. I mean, the larger context here is that remember going back to last year, Donald Trump, who himself, by the way, did not serve in Vietnam, got out of serving in Vietnam, as did many other people of his class, um, said last summer about John McCain, who was um, a prisoner of war in North Vietnam, that um, John... Peter, Peter, I might just cut you off there for a minute. Uh, Donald Trump is now holding this press conference at Trump, Trump Tower. Let's listen in. Really, as George said, amazing. 